Hi guys, welcome to this session in Google Docs. In this module, I want to show you how to use columns. So I've got some text on the screen and the first thing I'm going to do is just highlight a paragraph and show you how simple it is to put columns on. So if I go insert So the first thing I'm going to do is highlight a paragraph and show you how simple it is to put columns on. So if I go to format and then columns, you can see you've got three options there. I'll pick on two. That paragraph is now in two columns. If I do the same for the next paragraph down, in fact, I'll leave that one, the third paragraph down, I'll highlight that. I'll put that into three columns, so format columns three and you see how that works so if you've got text on the screen it's very simple to put it into columns now where this is less simple is if you don't have anything on the screen to start with if i could just get rid of all of this so I want to put columns on from scratch. So I'm going format columns. I'll do three columns. So I've got three columns. Now when you start typing, what happens is it wraps around in individual columns and you can't actually click into the second column. You can't actually get there. So what you have to do is insert a column break. So if you go to insert and come down to where it says break you've got column break as an option there look column break and as soon as you do that your cursor jumps across into the the next column like so you type away and then when you want to go into the third column you repeat the process so down to break column break and then you can type in all three now what once you've done that, you can click back into any of these other ones and carry on typing. That's because the break has been made. But if you want to stop and go back to a continuous paragraph all the way across, you have to put a, another break in there. So if I go insert break, this wants to be section break continuous and then that needs to be formatted to one column because as you can see up there the column markers are still there so if you go mark columns and just put that to one from that point onwards that should allow you to type all the way across the page and not just wrapping around in the same column so you're creating column breaks to jump from column to column you create a section break continuous and then reset it to one single column so you can carry on typing. Or you do what I did at the very beginning, you just type the document out, highlight the bits that you want to be in columns, and then that sorts it out for you. Either way, you end up with a document that is fit for purpose. So hopefully this video is of use. Thank you for your time. and I'll catch you on the next one.